All right, so a very easy way to be able to get a spreadsheet that is shareable with your class, whether or not they have an account, uh, is to first name the spreadsheet. Uh, next, you're going to want to put whatever table you want to have on the spreadsheet. I'm just going to make a very simple one. That's really, really silly, simple. All right, so there's that. Uh, to be able to allow students to all share this and to, to work simultaneously, they're going to either need to have Google accounts or you're going to need to make it so that anyone who has this link has the ability to edit. So again, no matter what kind of, of, of work you put here, the sharing part is the critical part. So to share, right now it's private to me only. I'm going to click on the share button and I can invite individual people but that takes a really long time so instead I'm going to take and cut a little bit of time off this by clicking the shareable link and you'll notice here it says anyone at CMTSS can with the link can view which is good except for the fact that we want to be able to have uh, people outside of CMTSS also be able to access this now I can click here on this can view and get different options I can have anyone inside CMTSS with the link comment, or I can also have them edit. If we're using the students, having our students sign in as uh, their Google Apps for Education in CMTSS accounts, then we can just use this one. And so that anyone who is inside our district using one of our district's Google Apps for Education accounts will be able to lock, will be able to see this and edit and not have everyone in the whole wide world. So again, very safe for our students, but they have to log in. You can also go a step further by opening this up. Let me click that again. Choosing the word more, and now you have anyone with a link. So that means not just people inside the CMTSS, but anyone anywhere with a link directly to this can edit. I also can choose to let them just comment or just let them view, but I want them to be able to edit so I can have multiple people adding information in real time on this page. Again, if I, if I want my students or teacher, fellow teachers to have to log into their CMTSS Google Apps for Education accounts to access it, I'll use one of these that actually has CMTSS as a, as a choice. But if I want anyone, whether they're using Google Apps for Education or not, uh, to be able to access it, then I have to make sure that I choose this one where it's anyone with the link and it's not specified whether it's CMTSS or not. I hit save. And I'll copy this link here and then put this someplace, whether I'm putting it onto my teacher web page, whether I'm putting it onto a wiki or a Weebly or a Wix that I happen to use, whatever website I'm using, or I can email it to them, or I can use one of many different email shorteners like uh, tinyurl.com paste it in there maybe give it a different name and then click make tiny and then now this address will go directly to this one. There are lots of different ways I could make this shorter so my students can just type it. Uh, Bitly is another resource. If it ever decides to open, it allows me to be able to make the, the uh, URL much shorter than it is currently. Again, the important part is on the Google to hit share and make sure that it is anyone with a link can edit. And that way, anyone, whether they're 
using a CMTSS account or not can access it. If we want to lock it down to just CMTSS and they have to lo log in with their Google Apps for Education account, then we use one of the other choices. And that is making a shareable spreadsheet for your students or others to be able to access uh, and add their data at the same time.